Why are we encouraging comedians to lambaste serious, important people in this country? Now, I'm from the third world, and uh, there was a difference between third world and first world. First of all, first world countries were telling us that we need to respect our leaders, be honest in government, have small government, and to dress properly. And this is what leads to success. But some way, somehow, um, they have been able to imbibe the, the doctrine and the teaching of the third world. Now you have uh, comedians uh, renegading important people that have serious issues to deal with. Now, let us get it clear. These, these jokers have writers, people scouting out ideas to, for them to get on with. Um, many of them don't have a college education. Or if they have one, <coughs> is the variety in which uh, they they can't hold a job down because you know they're not trained in nothing. And so here you have the president, well accomplished, attorney, scholar, president, and these are the guys now that are trying to bring him to their level. And I think that this is a, a, a mistake because uh, they seem to have some credibility in the minds of the masses. Um, people look forward to hear what they have to say and um, this is uh, this is troubling because many of them have serious mental problems some were drug addicts some were suicidal and you know I, I'm not understanding how now they become so important that they, they kind of drive in the culture um, they don't seem to understand the times in which we live um, they, they talk in terms of accomplishing nothing. Europe, the riots in Europe, and the economic forecast for the world in America were so bleak that young people in Europe were right in burning up the place and so on. The smallest spark it caused a great conflagration. And since the president came on and started talking hope and, and they invested in various uh, businesses and industries to keep them afloat, and many of them now are becoming solvent. These things have translated into hope, and the young people around the world are, you know, they have a new thing, they're trying to get lives together and move forward. So while in America, um, we're not recognizing people that are achieving much, the world is, and it comes back to the Nobel Prize. These Nobel um, committee, the Nobel Committee has chosen to give him a Nobel Prize, and these guys have a problem with that. And um, I don't know if it's the way folks are thinking, but as a foreigner, I also see that he's qualified for it because, as I said, uh, his campaign was so clean. Um, came on with hope, and uh, a lot of times that is what makes the difference. People have given up, people were so depressed, people were just expecting Armageddon. But you came on and you say, look, we could make things better. Let us do this, let us do that. I, I don't think it's necessarily a mistake he has made because there are so many things need fixing that to wait to fix them individually, it's like your health. You have uh, brain cancer, uh, heart problems, um, liver problems, intestinal problems. Are you going to just work on one and that's fixed and then work on the next one? You might have to work at all because anyone potentially could kill you. And so doing things to help each along would be great. And so coming back to the, the, this country, there's so many family need fixing, the economy need fixing, the politics need fixing, um, uh, so many different education, um, religion, so many different things. And you have to give each some attention and as I said people go to college you now they're just studying one course and then they do a next they're not accustomed to doing four or five at the same time able to multitask so that when somebody else is doing that of course when you're doing one course in every three weeks or so you you come to a maturity you finish your papers and you move on to the next but if you're doing four and five it will take you the whole semester to finish it so let us go with the semester approach and just wait don't let's rush the brush and get this president off his game and make him be very reluctant to say things or try things because of this comedia comedianic um, sort of um, influence that is dominating the society I think that uh, we need a, a revolution in, in 
television right through the day it's just dumb stuff dumb talk dumb stuff you know this one he's not the father this one uh, he, he, she went out with this one at the fighting uh, just dumb stuff right through the day and this is America this is the first world country it's the best country in the world it's the only superpower and if we do not if we do not get on a new um, uh, mission and, and start to reinvent education and start you know becoming what we had been in the past and moving forward with it I think that it's going to be a bad day for everybody because if we slip the world slips so um, let us not beat up our leaders who are earnestly working to make things better um, because in our little petty ways things aren't going the way we think it should go this is no reason to castigate them and to malign them and to bring them down to our level let us keep exalting them keep praying for them keep hope encouraging them and and things are going to be better for everybody